Hi team, Pete here from Medic Effects. I'm here today to demonstrate to you Conan in his full working capacity. So I'm gonna go through in uh, making a skin incision, the blunt dissection down through to the trachea, incision in the trachea, and then inserting the endotracheal tube through that small incision. For setup instructions of Conan, please see our previous video. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the intended uses for Conan here. So in this situation, at the can't intubate, can't oxygenate scenario, it's quite a stressful scenario for uh, people to go through in real life. So simulating it is a very good way of trying to get over some of that stress and giving people the permission to perform the procedure. It's a very stressful scenario to be in. So first thing I'm going to try and do is perform a laryngeal handshake. I'm going to try and find where the anatomy is. Now, this person obviously has a very raised BMI. So due to their obesity, their landmarks are very, very difficult to find. I can probably find the top of the sternum just about here, but I can't feel anything else. All I can feel is fat. So <clears throat> with the patient desaturating further and further, we're gonna have to make the decision to cut the front of their neck. So using a scalpel here, Going to try and find what I think is the middle. So it's about here. Now I'm going to make my first skin incision here. And I'm going to incise my way through that sort of top layer of the fat there. Now I'm going to take my swabs and blunt dissect my way using my fingers to try and find this patient's trachea. So as you can see here, just pulling the fat apart using swabs and fingers. So there's your um, strap muscles just through that layer of fat. So I've managed to burst my way through and I found the trachea just there. So palpating with my finger, I can feel that trachea. So I'm going to retract that open with my fingers, take my scalpel in this big deep dark hole here, I'm going to make an incision into the trachea and then turn the scalpel to try and use it as a retractor. I'm going to take my bougie here, insert it into the hole that I've made in the trachea. There we go. So you can get a positive placement of your bougie by seeing through the balloon that's down the bottom here. You can just see the tip of the bougie come out the bottom there. So now I will railroad my tube over the top. All right, so tubes in the trachea withdraw the bougie now, inflate the cuff. Now I can ventilate my patient. So you'll be able to see the balloon down there going up and down. And that's front of neck access performed. This model is very realistic in the sense that it is incredibly difficult due to the amount of uh, adipose tissue that's actually surrounding the neck. The anatomy looks cracking, looks really good to disassemble. Just going to deflate the cuff, pull the tube. You can roll the fat, uh, sorry, roll the skin down. Take off your fatty tissue. With the fatty tissue, once it's been removed, you can smush it all back together. There we are, it's like you were never there. Keep the plastic wrapper. Make sure that um, before you put this away that this fatty tissue, due to its sticky nature, is very well wrapped so you don't get any extra fluff or dust or any other detritus attached to your fatty layer. Removing the trachea, you can just pull it straight out from the bottom here. 
So here we go. Here's my incision right here, just at the top. So to give you longevity of this model, you're very welcome to turn the trachea around. Again, with the repair kit, if you're concerned that uh, you'll get a bit of air escaping on ventilation, then just pop a bit of silicon over here, leave it somewhere to dry. <clears throat> uh, if you're concerned again about time, then you're welcome to use a hairdryer to speed that process up. Should only take about 45 minutes to an hour to, to be in a usable state. Obviously swap the balloon end round and there, you're good to go. You can also continue to rotate the trachea around further and further so you can get multiple attempts on a singular trachea. Uh, the same with the next skin, as you can see here, it's done in segments and sections. So as I said before on the setup video, just ensuring that this square here is in the middle of where, they, where your participants are likely to make that incision. So all you'll need to do now is just rotate the skin round to the next available square. So it means you'll at least get three goes out of each skin before you have to consider repairing them. As I said before, the repair videos are on our YouTube channel, so please go and have a look at that. Thanks for your attention and for your time. Uh, I hope that gives you a good idea of how to disassemble Conan after use and a good way of keeping the component tree uh, alive for a few more attempts before you have to replace it or repair it yourselves. Um, if you've used any fake blood or if you've used any uh, fake blood clot, um, you're very welcome to wash these models in warm soapy water, just ensuring you try and keep the hair dry as much as possible and ensure that when Conan is stored, he's stored in a cool, dry environment and then he's been put away dry as well. Um, to dry them off, you can either use a towel, you can just leave them out to air dry, or you can use a hair dryer to dry them off. Um, with the hair, looking after the hair, you're welcome to put a brush through it, but please make sure you don't tug too hard on the roots. Uh, this will help maintain the hair for a long period of time. All right, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your time. I'm sure I'll see you again.